Hello, I'm Entrelissim, and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4 as Fascist France, Vichy France. Uh, so far we are planning a couple of naval invasions in Turkey. This one's uh, going to be a little wild because we need to be able to get support. Uh, this one over here should be going off anytime soon, although I have noticed we actually don't have control of the Black Sea, which uh, could be a problem. Also with the Black Sea uh, Navy in here. I don't know if I really want to risk taking these troops over because they're likely just to get bombed or boomed or submarined or whatever you want to call it. Um, especially if I can't really get them over anyway. I can get control of the area to send them over because it requires you having control of the uh, nearby sea provinces by putting a load of aircraft there. But I'd still probably get killed and I'd have to move a load of aircraft and honestly I'm lazy. Uh, also, we're having a front here, we have our invasion there, we have a front here. The idea being that when we take Turkey, we can get Chromium, we can also push up here and get a second front on the Soviets, and get ourselves the oil that's uh, there in Georgia, next to the Caspian Sea. Um, we have a few fronts down here, and actually I would like to ask Japan. Um, can you give me control of states? That's kind of unfair. I did a lot of work here. I'm going to deliberately push in here and try and take some land. Who dares wins? Awesome, we have another fight race. Also, I need to turn it off because a number of people said they prefer the day-night off, especially when it gets to high speeds. Um, it's very tempting to take the naval bases here from the United Kingdom. It's going to be very tough. They are well fortified. Farmer killed over Asia Minor. No, we lost a fighter race. Yeah. It happens. Uh, you know what? I'm not going to risk that assault because I don't think you can do it anyway. Yeah, we don't have enough intel. Um, I'm going to pull you back over to the port here. And then we're going to send you over to capture some of this shoreline. And open a few more fronts. Nothing important, but just generally push a bit extra out. Or we could just put you as... Yeah, we just need reinforcements, to be honest. Let's just get reinforcements over. And then we'll add you all. I'm not our push is kind of stalled. Ooh, that's a new fighter aircraft. Right, so that's the tier 2 fighter aircraft we've been looking forward to. Um, this is a fair amount of time away. I probably should get it for carriers as well. But this also means we can now put it into production. So, fighter aircraft 2. Let's create a variant because I have kind of a lot of air experience sitting there. Um, reliability 2, weapons 2, engine 2. So that gives us basically the reliability makes up for the increased unreliability by adding extra to this. Um, the engine makes up for the fact we lose agility, adding weapons. We also get a bit of max speed out of it. Although I kind of want a bit of range, so maybe we drop that. We go for range. Our reliability drops even more. Because currently, um, fighters tend to have a lot of issue covering big provinces. A big, uh, big air space, I guess. They get negative to their uh, ability to work. I think we just have to suck it up. Yeah. Okay, and I would like to start you building markets. Yeah, nothing else really important there. Right, just everyone push on that. Big assault. It's going to be very costly, but... How 
How are we doing down here? Uh, we killed three British convoys, two British convoys. Air wings with no missions. Oh, a strategic bomb that's standing by. Uh, you know what? Let's just uh it reserves. It's not really doing anything. Where are you standing by? Brittany? Oh, yeah, we're considering going over southern England. Do it. Let's start. Poking the bear. Now, the reason I'm poking the bear is to see if they've got fighters. They don't. I'm not going to stay up there because they'll shoot down their empty air. But that is interesting. Make sure I've got air of the English Channel. For now. Oh, look, they're trying to drop bombs on us. Carrier focus. Sweet. And we probably want to get naval doctrine. That'll really help. Insufficient resources. Okay, how many more do we need? Ooh. Look at that. Convoys is getting a little bit low here. Are we importing this? Yeah, we don't need to import quite so many. Um, we'll need more convoys. We're going to need to add convoys as like one of our priorities right now. Um, yeah. That's unfortunate. Shame. One's got into a fight trying to do that. There we go. What's that? No supplies here. That's fine. Although we are pushing quite nicely for Moscow. And they are starting to give away. Do we have an AS support over there? We have some air support, but it's not ours. Because we're focusing on the Turkey front. Oh, if only I had a few more. I have fighters sitting over here. Let's redirect those fighters, right? Where's our nearest air base? Here. That does belong to us, right? Why can't we... Oh, that'll do. Traveling, traveling, traveling. I wish I could just assign them on route so I don't have to come back and worry about them when they've traveled. And there we go. Do your thing. Any bombers do seem to be popping up. It might just be night time, but they are popping up. It's going to be very costly in lives doing this, but... There's somebody there. Oh. Right. I'm trying to push out the edges. We're doing over here. God damn it, Japan. Can you at least give me like some of this? I'll declare war against you if you're not careful. Did you really leave someone here? Go murder them. This is silly.
you know what? Why am I even supporting Japan's offensive? They don't value me as much as they should. It's their fault. Race pilot. I want you in port here. We're going to do an uh, amphibious landing on the British Raj. Japan can deal with their own leading border. They're not going to value me properly. That's their problem. We've got decryption side channel attacks. So that's going to help. We do need to get some encryption at some stage, though. We've been leaving that kind of a lot recently. We have bonus to air doctrines. Sure, let's get some ground support going. I do, like, tend... To, I tend to have just really kind of ignored doctrines at the moment. I really shouldn't. They are very useful. Right. Basically, I don't want you to have any order. If you get to the port. And then... The new orders are... Oh, that's the port in California. Go from there. Okay. Land like that. And your mission is to land like that. I don't really have a navy to back it up with over here. But I'm sure it'll work. Can't be any problems. Now, Japan, deal with that frontage. If you don't want to defend it, it's your problem. Uh, right. I've got some more factories I can use. Uh, I kind of need a few more motorized vehicles. I need a lot more support equipment. Quite a lot more, actually. What else? Um, carrier fighter. Why am I even producing you? I mean, actually, technically, you're not being produced at all. Never bomber. Yes, I'd like some of those to be able to take down that British fleet. It's forever annoying me. And we have no convoys, so we need to start producing more. And the road to Moscow is paved with, well, it's paved with bodies at the moment. We're trying our best, that's us, but... Over on that little pocket. Right, do it. Come on, collapse into my multi angled attack. Now they move the support in. Reinforcements coming. Nothing can happen over here, as per usual. It's really up our game for actually getting nice that. Ooh, atomic research! Way too far ahead for nuclear reactors, though, sadly. I know, I know. Alright, let's get elastic defense. It only takes 75 days. And I do need more doctrines. Very much so. That's not how I meant to get round there, mate. Just take a boat. Really not the best way round. Okay, uh, you can add to here. Yeah, 
join the front. Aha, now we've got it surrounded. And in theory, you should give in. Oh, hello. One of our torpedo... One naval bomber took part in the battle of the Japanese Navy and the Royal Navy, which resulted in two destroyers and one light cruiser versus a heavy cruiser, 12 destroyers, and seven light... I mean, obviously, it's all the help of our little naval bomber there. But yeah, Royal Navy suffering a bit of a loss there. Not a massive loss. They've got many, many more. Don't worry. That is uh, a bit shocking. All right. Are we producing Marines? Yes. A little bit constrained by our equipment. We do need more. Okay, how about in Asia? One of them one of the planning's already done. Weird. Let me guess, do you not have enough uh, convoys? Yeah, they've got nowhere near enough convoys. Plus, they need a uh, reconnaissance of the Bay of Bengal. You know what? Let's send the Navy out. The Navy's done nothing so far. And with good reason. People keep saying, you know, why is the Navy not done anything? It's because if it gets caught with the wrong Navy, it's dead. Uh, it's nowhere near strong enough to take on a particularly strong Navy. But we could probably send it down to the Bay of Bengal. And if we send you on a search and destroy mission, very tight. And that way we can slip straight out through the Suez Canal. Yeah, we need a lot more convoys. To the point that I'm actually going to switch around a lot of our production to focus on convoys. That is a lot better. So for now, everyone focus on this uh, side. Your new front line is here. Oh god, why am I not drawing a front line? There we go, sorry, offensive line is here. Yeah, and you're all assigned to it. So select half current divisions, select half again, and then this is your front line. And your offensive line. Let's get into the mountains. Because those can be quite easily defended. Another three British convoy down. Yeah, we really need more mobile divisions over here. But that'll do. And there we've got a carrier aircraft. Uh, that'll bring us to a carrier bomber. Probably do with our close air support. I'm like, but instead, oh, I, I, I could get bonuses for that. Oh, damn. What armor? Yes, there we go. We're gonna get the S35. Doesn't take long at all. Dog to find. Different from Italy. The uh, ultimate. Uh, Wow, I cannot speak. Diplomats from Italy have delivered an ultimate to Albania, demanding the latter's annexation to Greater Italy. A brave act of national leadership, King Zog has refused to yield. So, I imagine you'll be declared war on soon and then join the Allies. Probably. Doesn't really matter. The front is there. Ah, I need to have sufficient intel of the Mediterranean. Well, we'll see about that soon. Where is our navy? It's 
one's way. That's what you get, Japan. That's what you get. You lost your territory. You know what? You deserved it. Hungary wants to send one division. Thank you very much, Hungary. Spain wants to send... Now, Spain, I like you. Thank you very much. 20 division. Oh, wow. That is a lot of divisions. Yes, I know. It's 20. Well done. Your sarcasm is well-founded. There's one here, one here. Where's the other one? It's not particularly helpful that they're like, Oh, I've given you divisions. Okay, where are they? They're somewhere in the globe! Yeah, okay, they could be anywhere on the globe. Where are they? They're somewhere on the globe. Thank you there. Um... Right, everyone get to that. Oh god, who is doing this? Oh, the ones that... Yes, technically I did tell them to do it. That's not the point. they have here? A few bombers, not many at all. Okay, can I move you forwards? Yeah, I'll move you up to there. I'm now going to take 30 technical bombers and move you up to there as well. And then your job's going to be central Russia. This is interesting. We managed to encircle a good other army without meaning to. Now, can we attack? We can. Reserve convoys, zero out of five. Yeah, we need more convoys. Soon. Soon, my precious. Soon. But for now. I've been Enterisium. The push to Moscow is happening. It's, it's happening. The push in Turkey is actually going relatively fast now. Look at all of those. Green across the board. I like it. And we do more troops coming. Uh, it's just going to take a little bit of time for us to get ready. The Saudi Arabia push, I would like. Iran. We could probably go for Iran as well. Open up another front on British Raj. Afghanistan. Soviet Union. Yeah, I was thinking we make this entirely French here. I right, push up. Also, God damn it, Japan. Seriously, you want land? Fine, you get land. And then what do you do? You're like, oh, I can't defend it. Well, you wanted the damn land. Have the damn land. You're in danger of letting my fleet, well, my my naval invasion fleet get wiped out. Just stupid of you. Very disappointed. Do you know what that order is assigned? Seriously? Two divisions. Army of 30... 22 divisions. Two divisions. Really? Two divisions. Are you sure? That might explain why it says reserve convoys. Hmm. I might have to bin your orders. And then... How's that? No divisions. Okay, this is weird. Yeah, I know you can't, like, there aren't any convoys, but you could at least start doing it and tell me that there's no convoys instead of just not doing the order. This defeats my plan. Can't really assault with just this many. Oh, we've got more convoys on the way. I guess I could turn off the trade and supply temporarily. 
or that would nerf my uh, construction. But that's what we'll do next time. I've been Eric Lissim. If you enjoyed, please like, not subscribe, please consider subscribing. Let me know down below what you think and who we should attack next. I know a number of people said Saudi Arabia, so uh, that's definitely on the uh, menu. Hey, until then.